What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have 7 star version of Morbius, we're going to be testing him out and checking out his abilities. So first off, he's got his Ionic Glide, which as you can see, I triggered it when I'm about to do my medium dash. And this actually gets a huge attack increase, it gives us like, for a 7 star, like 10,000 attack on that hit only, on that first medium. It breaks to the opponent's block, and it's almost like a phase, so basically if they hit you during that glide, they're going to miss. So look at this. We're going to break through his block. It does 3300, which is a lot of damage because the second hit is actually going to be a lot less. So just the first medium gets a huge attack increase and it also in uh, inflicts a bleed on the opponent, guaranteed. Now, when we perform the glide, we get this fervor charge, which is about to expire. And when this is active on us, we can't perform psionic glide. So think of it like a cooldown for your Sonic Glide. When this ends, you can glide again. But if this gets nullified, which is going to get nullified pretty soon, here it got nullified. As you can see, it triggered again as a passive. Now, when you have this passive, you can perform Sonic Glides. There is no cooldown. So as you can see here, I'm just going to perform my glide. And if he nullifies it again, which he does, our glide is still off cooldown. Now but that it's not nullified, we can't perform the glide. But once he nullifies it again, we're going to be able to, to use our Sonic Glide. So basically, when you fight someone that has Neutralize or that has Concussions where they can lower your ability accuracy for your glide, or they can nullify your Fervor buffs, it triggers again as a passive, but this passive doesn't stop you from gliding. So it's actually better to use more boosts in matchups where this can get nullified. Because the Sionic Glide, it's got the utility, you know, the unblockable, the phase, the huge damage increase, and the bleed, which is really important. Now, let's actually use Morbius in uh, about 200k healthful fight and talk about his abilities outside the, the Glide. So, every single of his basic attacks has a 20% chance to inflict a bleed. Sorry about that. To inflict a bleed. And also, something that I forgot to say. If you glide when the opponent is recovering from a special, like here, we're about to face a special one. Because she's recovering from a special, instead of inflicting one bleed with our Sonic Glide, we inflict 4 instead. You're going to see it's going to say bleed times 4. Which is a really cool thing to do. Because you just get an easy opening. And you apply your bleeds like that. And you need those bleeds for your damage basically. And did you see that medium attack? Like That was like 11,000. See that huge damage increase. <laughs> which is really nice. Now the cool thing about bleeds. Each of the bleeds lowers the abilities uh, or the opponent's regeneration by 10% and their ability power rate by 5%. So this was like a really good fight up, by the way. Now this is the closest of energy health. So every single bleed lowers the opponent's regeneration by 10% and their ability power rate by 5%. And that stacks at uh, 10. So basically you can lower it like 100 with 10 bleeds, the region, and their ability power rate by 50. Now, Morbius doesn't benefit from Despair. But if you have, let's say, 3 points on Despair, which is maxed out, you can actually decrease their regeneration and ability power rate by another 5% for each rank. So because I have it maxed out, I can lower their ability power rate by 15%, an extra 15%, so 65 ability power rate, which is actually, you know, very, very strong with some, you know, power gain matchups. Uh, that could be really, really useful. Now, you can see we also have an indefinite petrified, this Petrify is a 20% Petrify, and you're gonna see it when you have 10 or more bleeds. That's when you can see it. And also Morbius, when the opponent is Petrified, he gains 1% combat power rate for each damage and debuff on the opponent, and that caps out at 30. So you wanna stack those bleeds because you gain even more power, and the damage comes from our special two, which we're gonna talk about now. So the special two, if the opponent is petrified, the second hit is a guaranteed crit and it gets more damage based on the opponent's bleeds because you actually consume those bleeds and the more you consume, the more the damage. So look at this, we got 26 bleeds 
It's gonna be huge damage. 185,000. And of course, I popped in the uh, prowess stat focus for Morbius, which is definitely the, the best. So it's it's kind of like a very easy way to get like quick damage with Morbius. So this fight is not gonna be the fastest, but it actually feels pretty safe with the glide. And I don't know, man, I really like it. I really like that rotation. So this fight was like about 700k health and uh, it was like two minutes, less than two minutes. Like that's not bad. So let's actually talk about the rotation you want to do right now. So you actually want to use your psionic glide as much as possible. Ideally when the opponent is recovering from a special, because that's how you apply four bleeds instead of one when you perform the glide. Do you see that? That was pretty good. Now you can also use your special one, which the special one, it actually removes your fervor buff, which means you can glide again. So basically the special one just allows you to glide after the special one, which is really nice because you can just you know glide again, uh, dash in after the opponent's specials and apply those bleeds. So really good there. So do, do you see this? Like, look at this, 42 hits in, we got 29 bleeds. And you know, we could have popped a special two there, but we, instead we go for the special three, which the special three, he does damage based on the opponent's bleeds, same as the special three, same as the special two. But the special three actually does not consume the bleeds. So the only way you would want to use like the special three is maybe if you want to use your like your special two after the special three, because you know, the only reason you don't go for the special two instead of three is because you actually want the bleeds to stick. So I would use the special three for like fights that are gonna last last longer or you can use it if you just want to use the bleeds abilities which are basically you know you getting more power the opponent having a re uh, reduction on the regen and their ability power rate so special three is pretty good because you just don't consume them and the special one here it has a 50 percent chance per hit to apply a bleed which is really nice and also the special two and the special three have a life steal which it caps out at 10% and you're most likely gonna get that 10% because he hits super super hard so yeah man like this guy he's pretty fun look at the 31 bleeds man this guy this guy is really really fun and this is the same 700k health bull fight or um Morbius and we go for the special three there just showcase it as well it's pretty good you can see the life still was not too bad but let's actually check this fight again, and I want to go through what I'm doing. So, we start the fight by doing a few combos. We want to push it to special 1. And phase into that special 1. Because again, you apply 4 bleeds instead of 1. We pop the special 2 immediately, so our glide is available. We can do the same thing again, and stack those bleeds. We have the Petrify, so now she can't really, you know, regenerate at all, because we got over 10 bleeds. We pop the special one again, and now I'm going to use my glide phase through that special one again, apply even more bleeds. And that's basically what you want to do. You want to do many basic attacks. If there's a 20% chance, you apply bleeds on them as well. And at this point, I'm going to go for my special two. I don't have my glide yet, but I'm going to try and use it before I pop my special two. So I get plus four bleeds. And there we go. We're about to pop our special two with 24 bleeds. 169,000 damage like this is this is honestly decent you don't need to do special ones like if i were to use them in bgs which i'm probably going to because i'm gonna get the seven star i would probably go for two special twos to finish off the fight because you actually can be super aggressive with his glide and build up power really quickly also he gains more power based on the bleeds on the opponent so he's gonna get to those special twos fast i'm gonna glide again four bleeds 26 bleeds, 183,000. We also have a 6 star Hulk Relic, which gives us some damage with the physical vulnerability, which is not too bad. We have our Glide available. I'm not going to use it here, though. I want to use it for the special one. There we go. And yeah, we'll just go for a special two, and this is going to be an overkill. And as you can see, life still just keeps us topped up. Not too bad. Now, one thing we haven't talked about is his Awakening ability, which we are going to talk about right now. And it's actually quite cool.
it's definitely not as OP as I thought it was going to be. So basically, if you have any direct damage effect on you, you will see this, this little icon uh, with the hand right there. This basically is your undying passive. So if you were to die while you're taking direct damage, you're not going to die. But you're not going to die from the direct damage. If I were to take a hit from Joe Fixit right now, from his base attacks, I would die. But the bleeds can't kill me. But you will see that when I take this hit, I will drop. Even though I'm still ticking, you will see it. See that? The bleeds were still there. And he hit me with a basic and I died. So you only stay alive if you're taking damage from the direct the direct uh, if you're taking direct damage from those bleeds or like poisons or degen but if you're taking damage from them and you take a base attack you will die but however while undying is active you regenerate 50 percent of all dam direct damage taken which is really great if you take like massive uh chunks of damage from like a very very strong bleed from like biohazard so that can definitely keep you alive and then the the last part of his ability of his sorry of his sick ability is one of my favorites basically if the opponent is bleed immune morbius wouldn't do anything but if you have a sick 200 morbius there is a hundred percent chance instead of bleeds you apply ruptures which ruptures there's no one immune to ruptures except, except scorpion but scorpion is not bleed immune so you will still have your abilities so basically everything you just inflict instead of bleeds is going to be ruptures the abilities uh, trigger the same, you know, you just get huge damage from consuming the special two raptures that time. You also gain more ability, sorry, you almost uh, also gain more combat power rate, decrease the opponent's regen, and ability power rate. So this is a very cool thing about his awakening ability. This is honestly my favorite part. It just allows you to do every fight, no matter what uh, immunities the opponent has. So honestly, my first thoughts about Morbius... I'm really excited that I'm going to get about to 7 star. He's actually going to be great for the next meta too. He's one of those attacker tactic uh, attackers. And I honestly think he's good. Like he doesn't, the thing that he doesn't have is immunities. And it kind of hurts. That's why Spot uh, is not like on my top 5 for science. Because he doesn't have immunities. Immunities are actually a pretty big part for a champion. And since he doesn't have them, he's not going to be at the top. But he has very easy access to damage. You literally go for like your glides, try and use them after the opponent's specials. And the glide is actually going to allow you to counter more specials because there's some specials that the opponent recovers so fast. But if you phase their last hits or hit, you're going to be able to, you know, attack them before they recover. You apply those, those bleeds, you get the easy opening. And yeah, man, even like 15 bleeds, you can just deal like 100k damage, like super, super easy with a self-star rank one so guys tomorrow i will be doing a stream on my main account well where i'm probably gonna be claiming my morbius hopefully <laughs> and we're gonna test him out uh, a lot more there we are also gonna ch test him with suicides i didn't test him with suicides because i want to do it on my main because i actually have suicides there and i'll be doing seven star rank two gameplay for sure because this guy is pretty popular a lot of people are gonna get him as a seven star and yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. Let me know what you guys think about Morbius. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.